What is going on, you guys? Omzi here, Schmitty here. This is the post show for my hero 523. Oh my goodness. Coming off this episode, we actually just finished it. Um, a lot of thoughts going through my head. This is honestly the episode I have been waiting for and just seeing everything happen. Just going to go straight into the question to you. Um, cause not going to lie, you were, ta I feel like you were taking everything in. You were, cause you've already seen it. You've already seen all the panels and everything. So there really wasn't much of a, it was basically me reacting to it, which is understandable because I've never seen any of this. Um, but I wanted to get your thoughts on this since we have finally gotten to this point. How is this portrayal compared to the manga? And do you think they could have done anything better? Or do you think it did it justice? I think it was the best the manga that anime could do. I mean, it's a completely different experience than reading it because you get the music, you get the actor's emotion, you just get everything more from the show in comparison to uh, the manga. Like it, uh, it was good. Reading it and the artwork was cool. Made me really excited for the episode, but just nothing nothing beats a good performance. Because mm -hmm. you can read it all you want, and yeah, it's cool and amazing, but when you go and you watch the show, if their performance is amazing, really good, it's going to be the Morgan Freeman voice in your head every day. Yeah. So... I think, I mean, I think the dub overall did pretty well. Yeah, I like, think they did I, they fantastic. Fantastic in this. Um, I will be checking out the sub when I get home on that really? specific scene, probably that specific episode. Um, and actually, at the recording of this, uh, season six has been announced two days ago. Uh, they did just finish up season five. And we all know what we're getting. We all know what we're getting. Yeah. And it is going to be insane with the war arc coming yeah, up in season six. I'm thinking like, no, I feel, I feel like they are going to learn from their mistakes as long as nothing happens or if they decide to do another movie or whatever. I mean, at this point you have three movies. I don't know how many movies Dragon Ball has. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I'm just a thinking lot. like how many anime movies is too much. I feel like for my hero, it's enough. Fucking Naruto has a million. A million. But the thing with anime movies is... It's rare that they're like my heroes. Because mm -hmm. fucking Naruto's movies, 90% of them are just arcs without the fillers combined into one sit down. Yeah, so it's just like a like couple, couple episodes. Like, let's yeah, say, like, it's yeah. a couple episodes jam-packed with some extra dialogue, some extra scene. Yeah. And that's it. It's kind of maybe how the Mugen Train thing was, too. A I don't little think, bit. no. Mugen, sure? was, Mugen was completely different. Completely Mugen different. was... A legitimate setting. Like, that could not have taken place over a couple episodes. That needed to be done that way. Mm -hmm. um, because of the way it was set up, doing it episodic would have been annoying. Because I, I don't know think if anyone would have liked it. I don't know if you've heard, but Demon Slayer uh, news came out the other day. Uh, season 2 will be officially coming out on December 5th. And I guess they announced on October 10th, beginning next week, I think this is only exclusive to Japan, but they are going to be doing a couple episodic stuff that is leading up to the Mugen train with Rengoku. So they're going to be doing a couple episodes with him and his lead up to the Mugen train. Mm, okay. So that's cool. If I'm able to see that, I'd love to see that. But yeah, season two, officially confirmed for December 5th. Um, this is a question I wanted to ask you the other day. And obviously, you were able to see Heroes Rising in theaters, um, and you were halfway through season four? Or did you not even get to... Up. You were caught up. Okay. Even though that movie... And did you know at the time it was uncanonized? Or were you still kind of new? Most anime movies are. Mm -hmm. I, it's very rare to see an anime movie canonized. Yeah. Other um, than Demon Slayer, for instance. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where they come out and directly say, yeah, this is canon. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. I mean, Fate, those are obviously canon. They're, they're, that's similar to Moving Train, where they're their own stories within themselves, but they're canon within the universe. Um, but it's just rare to see that kind of stuff. Like, if it is a its own story, it's very rare that it's actually connected with 
Um, the universe. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, because obviously we are weeks away from World Heroes Mission. Um, and obviously with what happened in Heroes Rising with Deku and Bakugo, even though with the situation that happened, like, oh, what actually happened at the end, does it change, like, your anticipation going into World Heroes Mission? Or are you going into it looking to be like, oh, it's uncanonized, like, really doesn't matter to the story or whatever? Oh, oh. We don't know. We don't know. Nothing's been nothing's been connected to it yet. I'm just thinking, like, let's say if it's uncanonized or whatever, and you're like, oh, I really don't kind of care about it, it's really not going to do much, or you're that person to be like, oh, if a cool fucking moment happens, then I'm going to get hyped. Well, I, mean, I don't give a shit either way. It, that was just my thought, because I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, hmm, even though Heroes Rising... Like, they, they allude to it, but it really doesn't do anything big to the story. It, like, it doesn't even touch on anything with the story. It has some components. With what everything happened with Deku and Bakugo, obviously it was hyped. But I was just thinking, like, oh, even though it's maybe uncanonized, would you even still kind of get hyped? Or does it really just doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. I don't give a shit. Hmm. If it's cool, it's cool. Wow. It's cool, it's cool. Okay. All right, that, yeah, that's what I thought. Does the overall scene in general with how it played out I think it was really done beautifully. The sound work, I think, for that one certain scene, I think, where they were going through a little bit of a montage, I think when his mom died and when his dad was running outside, I think the sound work for that was very, very good. It's like, I think it was just the sense of calm and just, just you don't even really need to play up any like loud music. You just need to hear just pure silence and maybe just like the noise going around. <sighs> I maybe, even even episodes ago, even the My Villain Academia episode, and just seeing all of the pictures and everything, obviously, y'all killed them. So I was nervous as hell on how they were going to do the dog, and they didn't shy away. Yeah, I don't think anything was uncensored. Like, it, it didn't really look anything like it. What was worse, that or Fusion? Oh, Fusion for damn sure. And I think Full Metal, for that for that entire scene, they they really did it. Like, they, they really did good with that episode. And not even though... I was waiting for that house to come down, not gonna lie. I was curious. I really wanted to see what he would have looked like as a hero. Like, how they would have trained his power. Yeah. Because he would have uh, done good in the combat, like, versus the bots and stuff like that. Like, he would have done good against that stuff. But I'm curious how they would have trained him. It just would have been, like, how... I mean, maybe him in society or whatever. Just him, not even being a hero, but just knowing his quirk and just him going out and doing whatever, living life or whatever, I just wonder how that would have been and probably he would have been, quote-unquote, not say protected, but, like, very secured on that, knowing what his power is and maybe if he was able to control it or not. Um, he could have maybe done good as a hero. Who who, who knows? Who honestly would have known? Redesto's quirk, and you didn't even know about it. Um, what, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Because I... I wasn't expecting that. Was that was that was interesting? It's interesting. It's interesting. I, mean, I knew about it. You knew about it. Yeah, I read the manga. Oh, well, I, that's what I asked the other episode, and I didn't know. Or no, like, I don't want to say anything. Oh, okay. So, you, okay, all right. I, I see what you did there. I mean, all you had to say was, "Yeah, I know," but obviously, you, I didn't want you to say it to me. Nah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, stress. Stress. I, I honestly, I wish I had that power. I, I wish. I wish we had both that power. <laughs> we build up our stress. We just, just, no. no. No, I wish mine worked uh, differently. I wish I could build up electricity stress. Oh. Power the fucking U.S. Power the fucking U.S. And we're we're still gonna see a little bit more of Redestro. Redestro is cool. I feel like he's much more, obviously, obviously more. Everybody's more fleshed out in the manga, and I do intend on reading this arc in volume twenty five after the season is over, which is probably gonna be like two more weeks. I the, just want to see more Deku. Just want to see so what I want to see post war Deku. I mean, obviously, everybody wants to see that. Everybody wants to see that. I want to see that. I don't want to see him on screen. Oh, you you just want to see him in that new suit, <laughs> or just how he gets that suit. Well, ain't new one thing. Well, no, I'm not saying new, but just how he gets it, or just how it goes about. Just now knowing. I mean, obviously, season six coming around in the spring. There's a lot of fucking like anime wise. There's a lot going on. You got. Demon Slayer Season 2 coming out in December. You got the Jujutsu Kaisen movie coming out. It's coming out in December in Japan, but most likely February in the U.S. Excited for that. Um, You got Overlord Season 4, which we are super excited about. Cannot wait to watch it off screen. Um, 
we're actually you ju- we just got finished with season one of Fate. Um, can't wait to start season two and eventually the the trilogy movie, right? It's like three movies. Yeah. So damn, can't wait. And it's canonized. Shit. Grand Order, all that. It's going to be a lot of good months for anime and everything. But overall, really, really good episode. Thank you guys for watching this video. And we only have two more episodes left of My Hero. Don't know what is going to happen after that. We don't know what we are going to do. And just, who knows? There's a lot going on. But obviously, hopefully we can cover as much as we can about Demon Slayer or whatever. Not reaction-wise, but just talk about it because I want to talk about it. But overall, really, really good episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, Omzi, Schmitty, and we are out.